My name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Coast Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Shadogs the Bump 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 for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update. This is a bumper construction update from Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. Now we do have some construction pictures from the diner, uh, which is the main restaurant in the area. And we also have testing pictures from a brand new ride in the area. Now before we get started, make sure you like the video if you've loved this update. Comment down below your thoughts and theories, and also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, this is from Tornado Springs, and this is on the construction, the latest construction updates from the area. Now, of course, uh, we've got some pictures to share with you. Uh, so, first off, uh, we have a picture from the Route 66 Diner, Jesse's Route 66 Diner. Uh, so this is the main restaurant in the area of the park. And we do have an official themed uh, sort of picture um, from the construction site where a few finishing touches have been made uh, to the building itself. So credit goes to the holder of this image and it's on your screen now. I believe this was Lawrence Manti, if I'm not mistaken. Big shout out to him. Uh, again, he does some fantastic work on social media. Uh, now, of course, you can see there, loads of finishing touches being made to the building. It looks pretty much set to go on the outside, just a case of what happens on the inside that counts. Um, but the outside looks fantastic as well. Uh, there we go. And also, we have some testing pictures of the Cyclonator. Now, the Cyclonator is a Zamperla swing ride. Uh, it's the most thrilling ride in the area, along with the coaster, but it's one of the most thrilling flat rides in the park's history and the park's current as well, uh, the past and the present in the park. Uh, and we do have some testing pictures. So one of them is from uh, Coops, uh, the themed Twitter account as part of Tornado Springs' themed Twitter account. So that's one of the big things for me on social media that I've loved about this project. The fact they've set up like seven different themed Twitter accounts for, di for different characters basically. So they've got one for Tornado Springs, they've got one for the radio station, the fictional radio station for the area. They've got one for, the, for characters such as um, Coops, Farmer Flo, Mayor Bill, Jesse. Um, you know, they've, so they've got lots of themed Twitter accounts for different characters and just the fact they've gone to that extreme lens to do that is fantastic. So the first testing picture of Cyclonator from Coops on your screen now. Found that Bidazi. Um, as you can see there, the, the ride is in full swing um, and testing very well. There was actually a tweet with that as well. It was something on the lines of Wow Farm, and they've actually added Farmer Flow in the tweet. And it was like Wow Farmer Flow. Uh, the cyclonator seems to be working uh, well. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some new harvest and crops. It was something on the lines of that. So they've just they've kept the theme tweet, but I think inside the thinking, this ride is going to look sweet. Um, now the second testing picture, now this is from Lawrence Mancy, uh, big shout out to him again, on your screen now, and you can clearly see, you can see the detail in the other picture, but you can see more details, uh, little details, just the, just the tiniest bit of details with the ride um, in this picture, uh, the buzz saw innards, you know like the, uh, you got the, the circle in the middle of the, the ride car, and you got the arms sort of attaching the seats, and so sort of that was that's what makes the frisbee ride. You can clearly see that that's been turned into like a like a buzz saw. Um, so they've so they've even thought about the inner designs of the ride. They've got the windmills on top as well, and they've got like little bits of bits of theming on top of the ride and around the ride as well. Um, I've just been really excited about this whole project. I think the whole theme of this project is fantastic. I feel like they've done a fantastic job with the whole thing. Um, Honestly, I feel like they've done a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant job with this project. I think that uh, the level of detail, and, the and I've spoken about this in the past, the level of detail and the level of theming gone into this project is magnificent. Um, I, and it's just been an amazing project to follow. I mean, this channel's followed this project right from the first you know, teaser campaign picture, uh, when that first poster came out, coming spring 2020, obviously it's May. But... 
and obviously that's technically spring. <laughs> but you know, when we first got that teaser picture and the desert town and you know things like that, and I was sat at that desk just below me on screen there. Um, well, not on screen now, but like below this screen. <laughs> um, when I was sat down there and I had my camera up somewhere recording the video, um, you know, just talking, you know, in my massive dark red jumper, zip up jumper, I remember it clear as day. Um, just speaking about this ride, speaking about this area, we knew there was a coaster involved. We were kind of speculated highly that there was going to be a coaster involved uh, in the area. And it's just been an amazing, amazing project to watch from the construction period to the announcements to the teaser campaigns. Um, it's just been an amazing, brilliant project to watch and follow um, on social media. Uh, Polton's part themselves have loved the videos. Uh, I remember clear as day the video where I got to shout out the engineering team. Um, that was a, a great day. Um, I know the people at Poland's Park are fantastic, the general manager, uh, the engineering team, the PR team, the social media team, they've been liking my videos, they've loved watching my videos, um, and to be fair, this year's going to be even madder, because there's been a few parks that have loved my videos, and have actually said to me they love my videos, Alton Towers, uh, Flamingoland, uh, Poland's Park included, um, you know, and it's just, and Wolby Holland, uh, F telling there's a lot of parks in and outside of the UK and in Europe um, and even Hershey Park in the States you know I've been in, I was in contact with them when it came to that construction update for uh, Candemonium they uploaded about a week or two ago um, I just absolutely loved work just um, doing these videos not just for you guys but for the parks as well I do I do this because I love the theme parks I love them to bits and the teams there are just fantastic so friendly thought park their social media team is lovely uh every single theme park i've spoken to have just been lovely 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 people um so i just wanted to put that out there but overall for Tornado springs i'm really excited about this project i think that the like i said the level of detail on this project has been incredible uh, and i can't wait to see this open in may 2020 um, obviously the opening day is May 19th, if you're down there, uh, please, you know, put in the comments down below, still deciding at the minute, um, it's still deciding, uh, whether I'm going to be heading down there or not, but, um, I'll try my best to get out there, but I can't make any promises at this stage, um, but if I do get down there, it's going to be a fantastic opening day, there's going to be a lot of people there, um, Storm Chase is going to get massive, massive queues as the day goes on. Same with the other rides, the Cyclonet is going to get humongous queues. Um, so it's it's just a case of what and when. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Tornado Springs construction. We're getting to that final furlong now, last few months, and then we'll be ready for the opening of the area and the new rides. Thank you very much. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Child Kit on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.